I decided to pair up Nikola Jokic and Steph Curry here on the Golden State Warriors. Four total MVPs combined between the two of them. I can't wait to see how these two are going to turn out. Obviously, this duo is going to run the league together. Let's find out exactly how well they do in NBA 2K24. As you can see, we're here on NBA 2K24. I have the Golden State Warriors roster here. And at the top of the list, we have Nikola Jokic, two-time MVP and current reigning NBA champion from the Denver Nuggets. He's on the Golden State Warriors roster here with Steph Curry, two of the best players in today's NBA. And I can't wait to see how the squad is going to do together with the addition of Nikola Jokic on today's Golden State Warriors roster. So if you're all ready, I'm ready. Let's get into the video and let's get started. Let me get you to rotation first. So here's the lineup that we're going to be rocking this year. We got Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Jonathan Kaminga, Draymond Green, and Nikola Jokic as our starting five. We got Andrew Wiggins, Chris Paul, Dario Sarge, and Brandon Pojemski coming off the bench here. Now, as you can see, we do have Nikola Jokic on this Golden State Warriors roster, and there is a challenge for today's video. We're going to be simulating three seasons here on NBA 2K24 with a challenge in mind for each season here. The goal is to win an MVP as well as the NBA championship. Now, obviously, Curry's not going to win that MVP, but there's a chance for Jokic in every single year of this to potentially win an MVP. So that is the goal for him. And then the team as a whole is to win an NBA championship. The goal is to go six for six in this. Hopefully, we can do that. Either way, let's simulate the first season here. I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the season here, and hopefully we are one for one. If not, it's going to be okay. Because the main goal, obviously, is got to win three straight championships. I'll see you guys shortly. At the end of the season here, we end up with Luka Doncic as your MVP. So, unfortunately, Jokic did not win the season here. But it's been really hard, especially uh, the simulations after trade deadline in real life. Luka's been going absolutely crazy here. Literally, averaging like 35-point triple-doubles, as you can see right here. So, it's not too shocking that he won MVP in the simulation here. After year one, we got Victor, Rookie of the Year. Westbrook has the sixth man. Victor's also the defensive player of the year. And Paul Reed is your most improved. Now, obviously, Jokic did make the all NBA first team in the Golden State Warriors. I did leave the actual Jokic on the Nuggets to make things more interesting. Because why not? you got to keep some interesting here and what happens. Victor on the all NBA second team. Let's share those stats. 20 and 11 here. And you're number one. Victor's going to be such a great player. Let's check the player stats though as a whole for his Golden State Warriors roster here. Before we show you the record. At the end of the season here, Nikola Jokic led the wings corner for us. So he had 29 points, 13 rebounds, and 9 assists on the season. That's a great season for Jokic, by the way. Curry with 25, 4, and 5, which also was incredible. We have 15 for Kaminga, 13 for Klay Thompson, 11 for Wiggins, 8 for Sarge, and a solid 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven line for Draymond Green at the end of the season here. We went 56 and 26 on the year. We were the first seed out in the Western Conference. We're only one game ahead of the Pelicans, two above the Dallas Mavericks, but we did get the job done as we were the first seed out in the Western Conference. 32 and 10 at home, which is really, really good. Can't wait to see how the squad does in the playoffs here. Now, unfortunately, Jokic did not win the MVP here in this season, but we still have to go for the main goal, which is to win an NBA championship. But it starts right here in round number one, where we're taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. In game number one, we come out on top 116-91. Jokic with a triple-double. You're going to be seeing a lot of that, not just in the series, but for the rest of Jokic's career in real life. Jokic with 40-14-8. In this game, and Curry only had six points. Wow, he only had he only took six shots, but we still end up winning. That's that's how crazy this is. Uh, game three, we do end up losing to LeBron with a big performance there. Jokic had a huge performance as well, but the Lakers come out on top in game three. Game four, the Lakers have also come out on top. D'Lo with 20 for them. Jokic only had 16 points, a big trouble double for him. But the thing is, though, it's now a tie series at two to two. Game number five, we come out on top. Jokic with 38, 11, and 16. That's what you like to see from him. 30 for LeBron, but it's not enough. Let's see if we can move on to the next round. And yes, we do. We're now going up against the Los Angeles Clippers here in round number two. Let's see if they got the same roster as in real life. And yes, I do. No additional pieces to this roster, but they are a very, very good team. Let's see how this goes here. In game number one, we end up winning Jokic 38, 7, and 7. I think it's going to be the biggest thing here because I don't think Zubac is really going to be able to stop Jokic in this. So, yeah, he's going to be putting up some more big performances. But then again, right, who really can stop Jokic in general? There's no way that can. Kerr with 25 in this one. Big performance from Jokic. Paul George up 27, but we were up 2 0 over the Clippers. Game number three, we have also won Plumley with 21 for them. But Jokic with 27, 13, 18 dimes in this game as we take a 3-0 lead. Game four, though, we have all swept the Los Angeles Clippers here in round number two. We'll be taking on the OKC Thunder in round number three. They got Shea, Giddy, Gordon Hayward, J.W. Chet, Holmgren, Dora. I mean, this is a very good team. 
Very, very good team. But can we beat them? I, I mean, we got Curry and Jokic on this team. Anything's possible. Game number one, we end up winning 30-11 and 11 for Jokic. In this one, we won by 21 points. Game two, we have also won. Jokic 39-10-15. Curry with 30 points in this game as well. As we now up 2-0 over the Oklahoma City Thunder. Game three, though, we end up losing Shea with 32. Giddy with a big performance right there. Notice how his rebounds are under 15. Uh, but we end up losing uh, in that game there. In game number four, we end up winning 3-1 here. Shea with 39 points for them. Yoshi with 39, 14, and 11. Kerr with 35 points. We only won by four points there. But the thing is that we're up 3-1 over the Oklahoma City Thunder. And in game number five, we end up winning 127-111. Jokic just absolutely killing it. And a big game from Jonathan Kaminga. As we move on to the NBA Finals, Jokic was literally with 34 points, 14 rebounds, and 11 dimes a game in the Western Conference Finals. That's just absolutely absurd. Let's see who we're taking on in the NBA Finals. It's the Philadelphia 76ers. We got Jokic. We got Embiid. And they also have Carl Anthony Towns in this. It looks like they traded Tobias Harris. But they have Towns, yikes, and they still got Maxi too. That's a, that is scary. Maxi Towns and Embiid on this team. Well, we got to work cut out for us, that's for sure. In game number one, we do end up winning. Curry with thirty points. Jokic drops twenty-seven though, despite Embiid's thirty-one. As we end up winning one twenty-one to ninety-seven. In game number two, the Sixers end up winning. Jokic with twenty-eight points in this one. Embiid with twenty-seven and twenty-two boards. This is gonna be a very close series here. Game three, we end up losing here one twenty to one nineteen. Literally lost by one point. That sucks. Maxi with twenty-four. Jokic again with a huge performance, but it's not enough to put the Warriors over the edge. Let's move to game number four now. And we end up winning this one, 122 to 120. Another close performance here. 20 rebounds for Jokic as Curry leads the scoring with 31 points. In game number five, we end up winning as well. Jokic with 37 and 14 performances by Curry, Kaminga, and Klay Thompson as well. Four blocks by Klay Thompson. 145 to 109 win. Let's see if we can get the job done here in game number six. And yes, we do. The Golden State Warriors have won the NBA championship. Jokic is your finals MP averaging 29, 14 and a half, and 10 assists a game. And there you have it. So we won the first year here. We have won the NBA Finals here. We still got two more seasons left. Let's see if we can get the job done. Let's see if Jokic can win MVP in those two years. But more importantly, can we win an NBA championship in the following two years? Let's see what happens. I'll see you guys shortly. And at the end of year number two, we got Nikola Jokic as your most valuable player, averaging 31 points, 13 rebounds, and 9 assists a game. Go along with one half steals, a block, and literally 44% from three for Jokic. This is great for us because obviously for our challenge purposes, he has now won an MVP this season. Also, those are just absolutely incredible numbers in general. Shout out Nikola Jokic here. We got Alexander Star Rookie of the Year, Ben Simmons, six man shot Ben Simmons, Victor Defensive Player of the Year. If he puts up those actual numbers in real life next year, that's crazy. 25 4 14, 4, 2 steals, and 3 blocks a game. Dude, you better be picking him in fantasy with those kind of numbers. Uh, Christian Braun, most approved player. Devin Booker is your clutch player of the year. Obviously, both Jokic's are on the All-NBA first team. Be shocking if not. No Curry, though, in any of these All-NBA teams. That does some, definitely sucks. But the thing is, though, things are going to be okay. Because they're going to be okay. We got Jokic, obviously, as you've seen before, 31 points, 13 rebounds, 9 assists this game. Curry this season, only 23 points. We still have 4 rebounds, 5 assists this game. Kamingo with 16. Clay with 14, Wiggins at 13, Pojemski with 9, Draymond with literally 7, 6, and 5 this season, so a great season for him. And at the end of the season here, we went 60 and 22 on the year. We were the second seed out in the Western Conference behind the OKC Thunder. We were 6 games back behind them, but obviously the third seed Mavericks were literally 12 games behind us, so that was a huge differential right there. Clearly the Thunder and us, the Golden State Warriors, had a huge uh, advantage over the rest of the teams here in the, Go- in the Western Conference, but obviously anything's possible here in the NBA playoffs. We're going to be taking on the Memphis Grizzlies in the first round. They got John Morant, Ayala Samuno, and DeMar DeRozan here, Gigi Jackson, Jordan Jackson Jr., Marcus Smart. Uh, where is no Desmond Bain, it looks like. I don't really know where he is, unless he, he's got to be on the uh, the Bulls here, because they got Ayala Sumo and DeMar DeRozan, but... You never know. In game number one, we end up winning here. Yo, we 44, 11, and 10 in game number one. I think we should be able to beat this Grizzly squad, but you never know. It's 2K. 113, 92 win over them in game two. Jonathan Kaminga with 27. Jokic was one assist off of a triple double. We had six turnovers, but it's okay. We won the game. So that's all that matters. 143, 119 win again. 34 for John Morant. Curry with 33. Clay with 27 and 27 point triple double for Mr. Nicole Jokic. In game number four, we end up winning a clean sweep of the Memphis Grizzlies. 
is Gigi with 21 points for them, but Curry with 31. Yoko's one rebound off a triple double. We're going to be moving on to the next round here. We'll be taking on the Dallas Mavericks. Again, not an easy matchup. They got Luka, Kyrie Irving, Josh Green, PJ Washington, Daniel Gafford, Derek Lively. They got Russell Westbrook coming off the bench, too. Very solid squad here, but hopefully we can be able to beat them. Game one, we end up winning Yoko's with 37, 16, and 9 in game number one. We only won by four points as Luka and Kyrie both drop 32 for Dallas Mavericks. Game number two, we have also won Yoko's with 50 points, 16 rebounds, and 11 assists in game number two. That's an incredible performance. I mean, obviously, that's probably the best performance so far in these NBA playoffs. Game number three, we have also won Kyrie with 22 for them. We held Luka to only 15 points. We actually end up losing in game number four here, 144-98, a complete blowout. Russell Westbrook with a triple-double chart, Russell Westbrook. Obviously, not the result we wanted in that game, but we still can come out here and move on to the next round as we do in the next game, and that is great for us. But as you can see here, the top two seeds in the Western Conference, OKC, Thunder and the Golden State Warriors here are in the Western Conference Finals. Let's see what happens here. They got Shea Giddy Dort, J Dub, Chet Horm. They got Roy Hashimura now on that squad as well. They got Andre Drummond. I mean, this is a stacked team. This is a stacked team. Hopefully things work out for us. Game number one, we end up losing to the Thunder by four points. Shea with 38 points in this one. Game number two, let's see what they have in store for us. We end up winning in this one, 149 to 135. 40 points and 36 points for Steph Curry here. Uh, we literally scored 51 points points in that fourth quarter and they still outscored us with 52 that's a wild fourth quarter game number three here let's see what happens we end up losing here 117 to 105 clay with 24 points for us but she, but shay leads the wing swarm for them with 27 game number four here we end up evening up the series curry with 48 points shout out to steph curry nine three pointers made that's an incredible performance by steph curry game five we end up winning as well j-dub with 15 for them but curry with 30 points for us and again Jokic only one assist off of a triple double can we move on to the nba finals and yes we do Jokic is your western Conference Finals mvp averaging 28 14 and 8 again. He's just been absolutely killing it. And we're taking on these Sixers once again in the NBA Finals, a rematch from last year. They have Tyrese Maxey, Buddy Hill. They have Paul George now. Unfortunately, they don't have Towns, but they got Paul George on this roster with Caleb Martin and Embiid. They got Zubach as well, Paul Reed, Duncan Robinson. I putting together these great teams here. But let's see what happens here with the Steph Curry and Nikola Jokic Golden State Warriors duo. In game number one, we end up winning here. Jokic with 35-15-8 in this one as we win by five points. Game number two, we also get the job done. 33 for Clay Thompson. Lean Dwayne scoring for us. Game number three, that we end up losing Sixers as Embiid drops 52 points in this one. There's, there's been, what, three 50-point games? No, Curry only dropped 48, but that's pretty much 50. Uh, in this game, we also have lost. Here's 2-2 series here. Tyrese Massey with 32 points in this one. Yoke's just 18 boards, but not enough. We end up winning here game number five. 42 for Curry, 37-15-9 and nine for Jokic, and 12-11-7 for Draymond Green. We got to win one more game for the NBA Finals. Can we get it done? Yes, we can. The Golden State Warriors have won the championship. Jokic is your Finals MVP, averaging 25-14-9 and nine this year. Now we've won back-to-back -back NBA championships. That's great for us. Let's see if we can get the job done here in year number three and go three for three. I'll see you guys at the end of next year. At the end of year number three here, Luka Doncic is your MVP averaging 37, 10, and 10 pretty much on the year. I mean, that's just an absolutely absurd season. Unfortunately, though, Jokic did not win this year. But things though, he still won one MVP in these three years, so that's still pretty good for us. We got Cooper Flagg as rookie of the year for the Heat. Stephon Cassell, sixth man for the Heat. Victor also defensive player of the year. And that is great for us. Obviously, Jokic once again is on the All NBA first team. Shout out Nikola Jokic here. No Curry on this team once again. Also, I swear I never see Steph Curry on the All NBA first team. I've been doing all these simulations here. I don't ever see Steph Curry on that team. Why? I don't know. But the, but who knows? It's 2K. 27 points, 13 rebounds, and 9 assists a game for Jokic this year. It's still a very good season. 24 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists for Steph Curry. We got 16 for Kaminga, 13 for Pojemski with 7 boards a game and 4 assists. Very good season. We're going to at 12, Moody had 9, Chris Paul with 5 points, 5 assists, and Draymond Green still had 5, 5, and 5 this season. And at the end of the year here, we went 58 and 24. We were the first seed out in the Western Conference. We were one game above the OKC Thunder for the first seed out in the Western Conference. So we still were the first seed in two out of these three years. Last year was a different story though. Uh, we won 60 games, I'm pretty sure, and we still were the second seed. That OKC Thunder squad was disgusting. But once again here, we were in the NBA playoffs where anything is possible. And obviously the main goal is to go and win that NBA championship this season. We're going to be taking on the Timberwolves in the first round. Let's 
we'll see who they got. And Myers Edwards still being on this team. Gafford. I mean, no Gobert, no Towns. I mean, this squad. I mean, we should beat this squad. I, I mean, I'm just going to assume we right through this round here. I don't really think anything's going to happen. There it is. A clean sweep of the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first round. 131-126. Edwards had 29 in this one. Dylan Brooks with some big performances here in that game. But, I mean, luckily I looked at the stats here. It goes 50 points for Nikola Jokic and 17 rebounds. Absolutely crazy. And, of course, we move on to the next round. We're taking on the Pelicans. Let's see who they got. They have Harden now on the team. Dyson Daniels, Ingram, Zion, uh, Herb Jones. I don't know who the center is. But they got Clint Capella, Brogdon, Trey Murphy. This is a good squad. Let's see what they uh, have in store for us. This should be a good series against the Pelicans here. Game number one, we end up winning Jokic with 26 points in this one, 15 rebounds. Moody had 22 points. Game number two, we end up losing here. Jokic with 27. 23 for Zion Williamson as we lose by four points. To the Pelicans, game number two, and then game Game number three, we end up winning here, 127-113. Steph Curry with bigger points, averaging 37, 8, and 10. Let's move to game number four here, where we also lose Zion with 33 points. Big performance from Malcolm Brogdon as well, despite Yohu's dropping a 32-point triple-double and 35 from Steph Curry. We still end up losing there. That, uh, that sucks. In game number five here, we end up winning this one here, 135-132. Again, another close series, another close game, I should say. Curry with 32 points in this one. Can we move on to play the OKC Thunder in the Western Conference Finals? Yes, we do. We're taking on the OKC Thunder here in the Western Conference Finals now for three straight seasons seasons we beat them the first two years can we get them and beat them again this season they got Shea still Isaiah Joe Hachimura J Dub Chet Holmgren Kaysen Wallace Andre Drama looks like Josh Giddy and Dort are no longer on this team but still got a good squad game number one we end up winning here 137.99 a clean blowout right there 33 11 13 three steals and two blocks for Nicole Jokic in game number one game two Jokic at 46, 19, and 10. I mean, those are just absolutely crazy numbers from Jokic. Putting up is like, like it's nothing against Chet Holmgren right there. Game 3, 146, 130. They end up winning here. Chet Holmgren actually drops 41 points in this one. Jokic at 39, but we ended up losing. In game number 4, we end up winning here. Chet and Shea both with big performances. But again, Jokic with 41 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists. A 41-point triple-double for him. Can we move on to the NBA Finals here? Yes, we can. Jokic is your Western Conference Finals MVP for the third straight year, averaging 38 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists. That's crazy. And we're taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals. They've got Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, Max Schroes. they got Jason Tatum on the squad, too, now. Jared Allen, Miles Turner, Craig Porter Jr. This is a good squad. That is a good squad here. Uh, let's see what happens. It's going to be close. Cavs win game one, 105 to 89. Jokic was a big game, but Garland leads the winning scoring for them. Game number two, we end up winning here. 33, 13, and 9 for Jokic, 31 points for Steph Curry. Tatum and Mitchell have 28 and 27, respectively, 23 for Darius Garland. In game number three here, the Cavs also win. Mitchell with 33, Tatum with 33, Steph Curry with 24 points. Jokic only had 18 last month, so he did struggle in this game. Game number four that we end up winning here, 2-2 series. Mitchell with 39 for them, but 41 points. And just, again, one assist shy off of a triple level for Jokic. It's now 2-2 series here, a very close series here in the NBA Finals. We end up losing here game number five. Jokic with 39, Curry with 24. Pajemski with 22, but Garland, Tatum both have 30, and Mitchell with 29. We only have lost by one point, though. That sucks. So we got to win both games here to see if we can win the NBA Finals. Can we get it done here? Game number six, though, we end up losing as the Cavs have won the NBA Championship. Donovan Mitchell is your Finals MVP. So unfortunately, we did not either get an MVP or an NBA Championship that year. Sucks, but the thing is that we still won two times. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please share, like, subscribe, future content. Looks like you put Jokic and Curry on the same team team they're gonna make such a incredible duo as you would expect obviously because they're two of the best players in today's nba if you want me to just any other players and put them on the same team feel free to let me know down in the comment section below if not have a great day and i'll see you next time